Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about concertina effect, which is seen during angiography and angioplasty. Concertina phenomena is a transient angiographic series of narrowings during percutaneous coronary intervention in a tortuous vessel induced mainly by a stiff guide wire. So what happens in a concertina phenomena is that because of so during a coronary intervention. During a coronary intervention, whenever a stiff wire is put in the torches, suppose you can see here there is a torches vessel here. So stiff, whenever a wire is put in here, so due to the stiff wire, there occurs the straightening of this torches vessel. Due to the straightening of this torches vessel, what happens is there is invagination of the tissue, which leads to appearance like a beaded appearance. So you can see here due to the straightening, uh, there will be stretching of the tissue, and the there you will feel that there is some lesion or there is a tight discrete lesion is present here. But it is actually a concertina effect, and when you remove the wire, this lesion will disappear automatically. So it is basically seen due to a stiff guide wire in a tortuous vessel. So lesions or stenosis that appear after placement of a guide wire in a tortuous artery, and they disappear when the wire is withdrawn, and these are also known as pseudo lesions, also called as accordion effect. They are produced by straightening of the tortuous vessel by the guide wire. So you can see here example of uh, of a concertina effect. This is a normal uh, when a normal routine coronary angiography was done. You can see this is a right coronary artery. So you can see this mid segment of the right coronary artery as, as well as this is a tortuous vessel. There is a tight mid segment lesion which you can see here the diseased part. When compared to the proximal and distal, you can see here there is a diseased part here. So tight mid segment and there is only proximal. There are mild irregularities and distal there is minor irregularities. So for this, uh, so this patient was planned for a uh, for angioplasty. This lesion was planned for angioplasty or a stent. So after putting a wire, so for that we put a wire initially. So wire has been put. So you can see here because of the wire, what happens is there has been straightening of this uh, vessel, and you can see there is a mid seg proximal segment which was initially there was not much disease. You can see here there has been uh, seen to be lesion because of the stretch uh, stretching of the vessel and invagination of the tissue. There appears to be a disease, and you can also see here distal segment, which was quite normal here, or only with the mild irregularities. You can see a lot of beaded appearance is there, and distal segment looks like completely diseased here, and because because of the hard stiff wire which has occurred. So this patient was put on stent. So stent was placed here in the mid segment. So you can see here initially it was disease. So a stent was placed here, and after placing a stent and after removing the wire, you can see. That the concertina effect, that that is the irregularities, that this disease part and this disease part has disappeared automatically. So you should be aware of uh, this concertina effect during the procedures because sometimes if you see, you may see that you may assume that this is a lesion part and uh, you may actually treat them with a stent, which is not required actually. So what are the risk factors? Is basically seen in because of increased tortuosity of the vessel and using of stiff interventional guide wires are the two most important risk factors. Another important factor is the stiffness of the interventional wire. The stiffer or heavier the wire, more pronounced will be the effect. So mechanism, as we've already discussed, is because of the straightening of the tortuous coronary artery, which leads in invagination and bleeding appearance of the vessel. So the morphology of the affected segment looks like spasm followed by an ultra short normal segment followed by spasm. So there will be a beaded appearance as I have said already seen here. It's a beaded appearance you can see here. So this phenomena should be well recognized and uh, you should be able to differentiate it with the alternative diagnosis like dissection, thrombosis and spasm. So all these features, uh, dissection, thrombosis and spasm, how will you differentiate is that concertina effect will disappear off once you remove the wire. If you remove the wire, the bending will occur, uh, the torticity will regain normally and all uh, the lesion will disappear automatically. However, if there is a dissection of the coronary arteries or thrombosis and spasm, this will not disappear without any intervention. So you should be aware of that uh, because you may suspect, uh, if you are not aware of concertina effect, you may suspect it as a dissection or you may treat it with an extra stent. Thrombosis, you may give an extra anti-thrombotic therapy and spasm you may give a uh, vasodilators as well so unnecessary treatment may occur if you are do not if you are not aware of this concert in effect and if you treat this patient so theoretically any vessel may be affected but it is most commonly seen in the right coronary artery or the left internal mammary artery so that's why it is what is important to recognize this anatomy is that first you should know uh, you should take an injection before placement of a wire so before placement of a wire you take an injection 
you can keep that as a reference reference angiography and after that uh, putting a wire if you are getting a new lesions which was not there before then you should be uh, uh, suspect that that is because of a concertina effect the most important part is that interestingly the affected arterial segment returns to normal immediately after the guide wire is removed so you can see here another patient uh, where you can see his right coronary artery. You can see this is a tortuous vessel with this mid segment is completely diseased here. So you can see here when the wire was put, this tortuosity of this is bend is gone and there is straightening of that bend. And because of that, you may see that there is a lesion. You may see this lesion has been present. So this is not a lesion. Actually, this is because of the stretching and invagulation of the tissue, which appears as a lesion. So once uh, the patient was put on a stent was placed here and the wire was removed, you can see that that disappearance of this concert in effect can be seen. Hope you have liked this video. If you have any queries, you can text me in my comment box. If you like my videos, you can subscribe to my channel, Dr. Akif Big. Thank you.